look at this example. We have a plane mirror. And uh, this is the incident rate. Question is that when you rotate this mirror by an angle of theta, when you rotate this mirror by an angle of theta, then keeping incident ray same by what angle reflected ray rotates write down the question if a mirror is rotated by an angle of theta if a mirror is rotated by an angle of theta then find out if incident ray is kept same, then find out if incident ray is kept same, then by what angle reflected ray rotates? By what angle reflected ray rotates? Now this figure this is a normal. This is a normal for initial position of mirror. This is your reflected ray. Let's call it R. This is your incident ray. And that's your normal. When you rotate this mirror by an angle of theta, you're keeping your incident ray same. The question is, what is the angular deviation of this reflected ray. You can pause the video at this stage, try to solve this thing. If you cannot, then come and take the hint and then see the solution. Only kya this question ke andar chizo ko define karna hai. All these angles, they should be defined. Let's say this angle is alpha, which is the angle of incidence of this incident ray. And therefore, you know that this angle is also what? Alpha. They both are same. Now, once you rotate your mirror by theta, its new normal will look like this. Extra the normal. For this new position of m dash, this normal is this. Let's call it n dash. m dash, and for m dash, new normal is what? n dash. Once you do this, once you do this, your new reflected ray, your new reflected ray is this. Let's call this ray as R dash. Remember, we keep incident ray what? Same. The question is that, question is that, what is this angle? Let's say, phi in terms of theta. Kya kya figure mein? 
initial position of mirror that's your normal this is your incident ray that's your reflected ray and then you rotate this mirror by an angle of theta you get your you get your new position of normal like this new position of normal is this and then your new reflected ray is r dash our aim is to find this phi in terms of theta ye figure jitna maine bana diya aapke liye this is the hint for this given question agar aapse nahi hua tha then take this in pause the video again and try to solve it ab kis tarah se hum in cheezon ko yahan par handle karenge usko dekhna when i say that mirror is rotated by an angle of theta and i hope you can see that it's normal will also rotate by same angle theta which means between between initial position of normal and final position of normal this angle will also be what theta that's your theta agar ye theta hai then what about this angle this angle is what whole thing is alpha this is theta and therefore you are left with alpha minus theta this angle is what alpha minus theta what is this angle basically this angle is angle between incident ray and normal and therefore and therefore this much angle between normal and reflected ray should also be alpha minus theta this figure mein they are not in appropriate ratio ye aapko kam dikh raha hoga ye zyada dikh raha hoga but logic wise you know that this angle is between incident ray and normal and this angle is between normal and reflected ray and therefore and therefore this is also alpha minus theta remember this is alpha this much is theta this part is alpha minus theta now aim is to find what phi so phi ko find karne ke liye kya karenge dekhna hai yahan par apne ko yahan kya kya cheeze dikh rahi hain look at look at this angle how much is this angle theta and what about this angle this much is alpha minus theta and then or if i ask you if i ask you what is this angle then you will say that this whole thing minus this look at look at it again this much minus this much will give you what this part and therefore this is alpha minus theta minus of theta which becomes what alpha minus 2 theta this angle is coming what alpha minus 2 theta now this is alpha minus 2 theta this is what alpha and therefore i hope you can see what phi is phi is phi is this whole thing which is alpha minus this much will give you what this much and therefore phi is what alpha minus alpha minus 2 theta alpha and alpha cancel minus minus plus and it gives us what 2 theta that's the answer what is the answer if you rotate your mirror by an angle of theta keeping incident ray same then your reflected ray rotates by double of that whatever deflection you produce in the mirror 
double of that is present in the reflected ray provided you keep your incident ray same. Write down this as an important statement for competitive examinations. If a mirror is deflected by theta, if a mirror is deflected by theta, then reflected ray, then reflected ray deflects by double of that, then reflected ray deflects by double of that inside the bracket 2 theta provided provided incident ray is kept same provided incident ray is kept same I note down this much this is your first method Let's see a second method. And this second method will use the concept of angle of deviation. Second method with the help of angle of deviation, which is a hint for you. You can pause the video now and try to find the same result using concept of angle of deviation. Whatever we learn in angle of deviation, use that and try to find this phi. Dekhna kis tarah se karenge. Ye hai humara mirror. It's initial orientation. Iske corresponding jo apna normal hai, wo ye hai. Incident ray is this. This is your incident ray. And for this incident ray, this is your reflected ray. Angle between normal and incident ray. Angle between normal. Angle between normal and incident ray. Let's take it alpha. This is alpha. Then, if I remove this mirror, then this is the original path of incident ray. That's the original path of incident ray. And in angle of deviation, in angle of deviation, we have seen that if this angle is alpha, then this angle is pi minus 2 alpha. आपको किसी पुराने आर्टिकल को देखने की जरूरत नहीं है दिस इज अल्फा यू कैन सी दैट दिस इज आल्सो अल्फा दिस इज अल्फा दिस इज अल्फा देन व्हाट अबाउट दिस ऑल थिंग इज व्हाट 180 एंड देयरफॉर दिस मच इज 180 माइनस 2 अल्फा व्हिच इज कॉल्ड एंगल ऑफ डेविएशन एंड लेट्स कॉल इट डेल्टा दिस इज योर एंगल ऑफ डेविएशन इनिशियली एंड देन व्हाट हैपेन हमने इस मिरर को इस मिरर को हमने थीटा एंगल से डिफ्लेक्ट किया एम डैश इस एम डैश का इस एम डैश का जो डिफ्लेक्शन है दिस डिफ्लेक्शन इज व्हाट थीटा डिफ्लेक्शन इज थीटा अगर ये थीटा है तो जो हमारा न्यू नॉर्मल for this and dash this new normal we can see that it's again what this much angle is also theta between normal initial normal final that means what your new angle of incidence your new angle of incidence is this 
between normal and the incident ray. This new angle is what alpha minus theta. Why is it your first method? No, anything. Al alpha minus theta. Now, this is your incident ray. This is your new normal. This is the new reflected ray. R dash. And we need to find out, we need to find this angle phi. This angle phi between R and R dash. Now when I say that, use the method of angle of deviation. What is the advantage of that method? When you find angle of deviation, that angle of deviation is calculated from the direction of incident ray. Angle of deviation is calculated from the direction of incident ray. And in this question, we are not changing that direction. Your incident ray throughout is kept same. Orientation of mirror is changing. Orientation of normal is changing. But orientation of incident ray is not changing. Which means what? Which means this. If I ask you, if I ask you, what is, what is this? What is this? This is the direction of incident ray. This is the direction of new reflected ray. And therefore, this angle which you see, this angle which you see is your new angle of deviation delta dash. Delta dash. And for delta dash, aapko keval kya bada hona chahiye? Delta dash ke liye aapko kya bada hona chahiye? Pi minus 2 times alpha. What is alpha? Angle of incidence. What is the angle of incidence? Angle between normal and incident ray. Pehle kitna tha? Alpha. Lekin is bar, is bar, amara normal or incident ray ke beech ka angle kitna hai? Alpha minus theta. This is therefore alpha minus theta. When I say you use the concept of angle of deviation, basically what we are using, angle of deviation is what? Pi minus 2 multiplied by angle of incidence. And angle of incidence, angle of deviation is calculated from the direction of incident ray. Hopefully you can see that our answer is coming. This whole part is what delta dash. This whole thing is what delta. Delta and delta dash, they are both taken from this direction. And therefore, and therefore, phi is what? Delta dash minus delta. Delta dash minus delta. This is your, this is your pi minus 2 alpha minus minus plus 2 theta. Now when you subtract delta from delta dash, this pi minus 2 alpha and pi minus 2 alpha, they are gone. And you are left with what? 2 theta. 2 theta. Same answer with the help of second method. Like in the second method, we have a concept used here angle of deviation. Hopefully, someone will come to the No down. Whole thing. Let's see image formation with the help of a plane mirror. This is your plane mirror. And light is coming from left side onto this mirror. These are the incident rays. This is incident ray, this is incident ray. Intersection of incident rays is called an object. This point is 
the object. Incident rays, the intersection point is what? Object. For the last cheese to statement before me mention karenge. Abhi, jasi incident rays aengi, amne is mirror par, ya do normal draw ki. These are the normals. Now, what happens if this is the incident ray and this is the normal, then this is your reflected ray. This is another reflected ray. Open me kya statement bula tha abhi. Intersection of incident rays, it gives us what? object. Similarly, intersection of reflected rays, it gives us what? Image. But if you look at these two reflected rays, they are diverging this side. And therefore, their intersection should take place behind the mirror. When you draw something behind the mirror, it should be, it should be represented by these broken lines. Why? Because light rays as such cannot exist behind the mirror. Since they cannot exist behind the mirror, we show them like this. This point of intersection of these two reflected rays is the image and that's how image formation takes place with the help of a plane mirror koi bahut khatarnak koi bahut difficult si cheez nahi do incident rays aapko chahiye do incident rays ki wajah se do reflected rays hain aur do reflected rays ke intersection se aapko kya mil gaya image formation अब जो काम की चीजें हैं जो कॉन्सेप्चुअल पार्ट है उन पर फोकस करते हैं फर्स्ट फाइट ऑन दीज स्टेटमेंट इंटरसेक्शन ऑफ इंसिडेंट रेज इंटरसेक्शन ऑफ इंसिडेंट रेज प्रोवाइड्स पोजिशन एंड नेचर ऑफ द ऑब्जेक्ट We'll see this nature part provides position and nature of the object. Similarly, similarly, intersection of reflected rays, similarly, intersection of reflected rays provides position and nature of image. Position and nature of image. A position you all can see. What is the meaning of nature? Mirror ka jo front portion hai. This front portion is called real side. Almost everybody knows this thing. Front portion of the mirror is what? Real. Back side is virtual. Why virtual? Because back side, I told you that light rays are not possible. Light rays are not possible and therefore this side is called what? Virtual side. In front of the mirror, light rays are possible. Incident rays as well as reflected rays, they both are present in front of the mirror. Nothing is present behind the mirror. But since when you draw a ray diagram in ray optics, you found that intersection of these two rays, it takes place behind the mirror. And therefore, 
we must be able to define this back side of the mirror and we call it what virtual side front of the mirror is called what real side write down this statement as as in front of the mirror light rays are possible as in front of the mirror light rays are possible it is called a real side and behind the mirror and behind the mirror as light rays are not possible and behind the mirror as light rays are not possible is called a virtual side and therefore and therefore in figure 1 let's call it figure 1 i mean figure 2 we can get one this is figure 1 therefore in figure 1 object is a real object whereas whereas its image is virtual whereas its image is virtual let's see figure 2 same mirror but this time incident rays are shown like this these two are your incident rays once you have incident rays you draw a normal at these points let's draw this normal first normal second normal then what ye yahan par reflect hogi ye yahan par reflect hogi these two are what reflected rays reflected rays ka intersection aapko pata hai kya hota hai image incident rays incident rays ka intersection incident rays ka intersection kya hota hai object o for object i for image now if you look at figure 1 and figure 2 in both cases light source is in front of the mirror source of light light is coming from left to right light rays are coming from left to right left to right They're moving from left to right and this also you can see that light rays they are coming from left to right these are the incident rays they are coming from left to right in this case this is the object which is in front of the mirror and is real in this case the way we have defined object in ray optics how do you define that intersection of incident rays this intersection takes place behind the mirror but you know that behind the mirror nothing can exist nothing can exist and therefore this object must be virtual if this is virtual object what about this image in front of the mirror things are what real and therefore this image is a real image uh, dono case mein source of light it is in front of the mirror if you think that if you think that you have a mirror 
and you place something behind the mirror suppose you have a candle if you place a candle behind the mirror then that candle does not become a virtual object because once you place a candle behind the mirror then concept of reflection is gone this is the reflected side if you place something behind you are not talking about reflection and therefore it makes no sense in saying real or virtual jab reflection hoga tab baat hogi kiski real and virtual ki dono case mein that candle is in front of your mirror so that light light rays coming from its flame they can reach this mirror when in figure 2 they reach this mirror they arrive in this manner to differentiate between this type and this type we use the concept of real and virtual so once i say that once i say that object is virtual aapko immediately malum pad gaya that rays are coming like this so that intersection takes place behind the mirror but remember your light source in both figures figure 1 and figure 2 is in front of the mirror and therefore we have written left to right left to right ye cheez thodi der mein aur acche se clear ho jayegi ab we'll write down all these statements also but look at this special thing humne जब रे ऑप्टिक्स का फर्स्ट पार्ट डिफाइन किया था तो हमने बोला था लॉ ऑफ रिवर्सिबिलिटी व्हाट इज लॉ ऑफ रिवर्सिबिलिटी अगर आप इस रिफ्लेक्टेड रे को क्या बना देंगे इंसिडेंट रे तो फिर ये इंसिडेंट रे क्या बन जाएगी रिफ्लेक्टेड रे दैट्स व्हाट इज हैपनिंग इन दिस फिगर दैट्स व्हाट इज हैपनिंग इन दिस फिगर व्हिच मींस व्हाट आपने रिफ्लेक्टेड रे को क्या बना दिया इंसिडेंट रे जब ये रिफ्लेक्टेड रे थी तब ये इमेज थी लेकिन जैसे ही आपने इसे इंसिडेंट रे बोला यही चीज क्या बन चुकी है ऑब्जेक्ट सिमिलरली जब ये इंसिडेंट रेस थी तब ये क्या था ऑब्जेक्ट लेकिन जब ये रिफ्लेक्टेड रेज हैं तब ये क्या बन गया है इमेज एंड देर फोर वी कैन रिमेंबर द स्टेटमेंट विच इज वॉट अ प्लेन मेरर it forms what virtual image of a real object at the same time it forms what it forms what real image of a virtual object write down this statement a plane mirror a plane mirror forms a plane mirror forms virtual image of a real object a plane mirror forms virtual image of a real object at the same time at the same time it forms it forms a real image it forms a real image of a virtual object now some of you might be thinking that how can we produce incident rays like this by keeping a source in front of the mirror it's not a difficult task we will discuss questions like this later suppose you have a convex lens and this is your light source a candle then light rays they reach this lens like this and i hope you know a little bit about lenses and all these two are the refracted rays these two refracted rays once they arrive at the mirror they arrive at in this manner and therefore this intersection this intersection it takes place behind the mirror these two rays they are 
they are refracted rays for the lens. We'll see this part in refraction. These two rays form these two rays form image for the lens. This is image for the lens. But these two same rays, they are incident rays for this mirror. If they are incident rays, then intersection of incident rays gives you what? An object. Ye dono rays lens ke liye image bana rahi hai. Mirror ke liye object bana rahi hai. Just because of this, we are interested in the concept of object and image. Isiliya humne is tarah se define kiya that intersection of incident rays. Intersection of reflected rays. Jab hum refraction ki baat karenge, toh hum baat karenge intersection of refracted rays. Now, write down this extra point jo humne mirror ke bichhe candle rakhe define kiya tha. If, if, we place a candle behind the mirror. If we place a candle behind the mirror, then it doesn't become a virtual object. Then it doesn't become a virtual object as no reflection takes place as no reflection takes place we cannot use concept of real and virtual as no reflection takes place we cannot use concept of real and virtual in both figures 1 and 2 in both figures 1 and 2, light rays are moving from left to right. Light rays are moving from left to right. That is, that is source of light. Source of light is always in front of the mirror. Source of light is always in front of the mirror. So that reflection can take place. So that reflection can take place. That's how you define, that's how you define uh, real and virtual. And here is a interesting question. Is it possible that uh, you can see a virtual image? Can you see a virtual image? Kai log lagta hai ki nahi, hum virtual image nahi dek sakte. Kai log asa lagta hai that they cannot see what virtual image. But, jab bhi aap mirror ke saamne khade hote ho, aap mirror ke saamne khade hote ho, to aap jis cheez ko dek rahe ho, jis cheez ko dek rahe ho, that is your image. When you look at your face in the mirror, that face is basically what virtual. There is nothing behind the mirror. There is nobody standing behind the mirror. Whatever you see is not present there. Since it's not present, but you can see it, this contradiction is what virtual. Remember the word contradiction. You see something in the mirror, but there is nothing which is present there. And therefore, we use the concept of virtual. Suppose you make, suppose you make a very neat and clean mirror. If you make a very neat and clean mirror, and you are not looking at yourself, you are not looking at yourself. Suppose, suppose somebody, somebody took a marker and placed it in front of the mirror. That's your mirror, and you place it in front of the mirror. Somehow, somehow you have blocked that this direct view i cannot see i cannot see this red marker directly i cannot see this red marker directly i can see this red marker with the help of this mirror its reflection takes place and i see this red marker in the mirror but now 
take one more assumption. If I, if I cannot touch this surface and I have not been told that it's a mirror and I told you that it's a very neat and clean mirror. If it's a very neat and clean mirror, then the thing which I see in this mirror, I will assume is that a real thing. मुझे लगेगा कि भाई इसके अंदर एक रेड मार्कर है और मैं हो सकता है कोशिश ये करूं कि अपना हाथ लेकर जाऊं उस रेड मार्कर को उठाने के लिए बिकॉज मुझे नहीं पता यहां पर मेरा है आई कैन नॉट सी इट डायरेक्टली कर्ड एंड आई कैन नॉट सी दिस थिंग जो चीज मुझे दिख रही है मुझे लग रहा था वो वहां पर प्रेजेंट है बट जैसे ही मैंने हाथ बढ़ाया मुझे लगा अरे यहां तो कुछ है वट इज दैट मेरा द मोमेंट यू टच दिस थिंग यू रियलाइज यू आर लुकिंग एट वट नॉट द ऑब्जेक्ट बट एट इमेज यही चीज आपको यही चीज आपको फिजिक्स किस तरह से डिफाइन करके बता सकती थी किस तरह से डिफाइन करके बता सकती थी कि भाई जो चीज तुमको सामने दिख रही है वो चीज क्या है वर्चुअल इमेज इसलिए वहां हाथ बढ़ाने की जरूरत नहीं है That's what is happening. तो ये जो मिरर का ये जो कॉन्सेप्ट है कई लोग इसका एडवांटेज लेते हैं कई बार क्या एडवांटेज होता है आपने देखा होगा रेस्टोरेंट्स एंड ऑल में रिप्लेस ऑफ वेरी लार्ज मिरर वेन यू प्लेस लार्ज मिरर तो फिर जो रेस्टोरेंट का साइज है इवन इट स्मॉल एरिया इज देर इट बिकम्स इमीडिएटली डबल ऑफ दैट एट द सेम टाइम यू कैन सी दैट क्राउड इज ऑल्सो डबल आपको यहां चीज दिख रही है आपको वहां चीज दिख रही है समबडी हु एंटर्स दिस रेस्टोरेंट फॉर वेरी फर्स्ट टाइम ही डजेंट नो दैट देर इज अ मिरर ही डजेंट रिमेंबर ऑल दीज फेसेस एंड देर फॉर वट ही फाइंड्स इज दैट सपोज टेन पीपल आर सिटिंग देयर ही फाइंड दैट टेन आर ऑल्सो सिटिंग देयर सिंस ही डजेंट नो ऑल दीज पीपल ही आर लुकिंग ही इज लुकिंग एट दीज फेसेस फॉर द वेरी फर्स्ट टाइम ही फाइंड्स दैट देर आर ट्वेंटी पीपल बट विथ टाइम He knows that no, वहां मिरर है एंड बिकॉज ऑफ दैट ही इज लुकिंग एट सेम टाइम पीपल होपफुली नेक्स्ट टाइम कभी जाना है ऐसी जगह पर तो उसको विजुअलाइज करने की कोशिश करना है इसी तरह से नो डाउन दिस पार्ट Let's see some elementary things regarding this image formation. We have a plane mirror. This is the object. This is the image. And we need to prove that we need to prove that distance of object from the mirror d one. and distance of image from the mirror d2 they both are same so very trivial thing but in case they ask you to prove that d1 equals d2 to so kya karna padega us cheez ko dekhna humne kya kiya humne as well this incident ray so this incident ray this is the reflected ray this reflected ray you know is coming from this place let's draw a second ray but let's draw this second ray along the normal so this incident ray you all know that this will be the reflected ray and this is the intersection point you always need two rays for the intersection part and therefore you always need to draw two incident rays corresponding to deflected uh, reflected rays will give you what image our aim is to find d1 and d2 relation between these two this is a normal ना यहां पर कितनी सी कहानी है एक्ट योर नॉर्मल दिस इज वॉट इंसिडेंट रे दिस इज योर रिफ्लेक्टेड रे 
If this angle is theta, then you know that this angle is also theta. Angle between incident ray and normal. The same as that would be normal and reflected ray. Agar ye theta hai, this normal is equal into this line. This line and this line, they both are parallel. If this is theta, so is this. If this is theta, this is also theta. Let's say this height is h. What is tan of theta? Tan of theta from this side is coming h upon d1. Tan of theta from this side is coming h upon d2. Prove h h cancel. We have proved that d1 is d2. And therefore, we always find that whatever is the distance of object from the mirror, the same is the distance of image from the mirror. This is true for plane surfaces, plane mirrors. Now, you see the Rekha Ekor part. You see the Rekha Ekor part. This is your mirror. Hamari Bas, Hamari Bas, Yahani object. This object say, this object say, ink ray yenikli. That's your second ray. This is your third ray. It's a larger angle. There are infinite such rays possible from this object. We need to prove, we need to prove that all these rays, they meet at a single point behind the mirror. Write down the question. Prove that, prove that all the rays, all the incident rays, all the incident rays after reflection from a plane mirror, after reflection from a plane mirror, meet at the same point. Meet at the same point. When I say meet at the same point, in other words, I'm asking you that prove that you will get a unique image. Unique image means if you get multiple intersection of reflected rays, you will get multiple images. Something which happens in curved mirrors. When you see curved mirrors, ko dekhenge, jab aap curved mirrors, ko dekhenge, to curved mirrors ke case mein, curved mirrors ke case mein, alag -alag rays, alag -alag rays, alag -alag point part, Alag alag point bar intersect karti hai. Alag alag rays, alag alag points bar intersect karti hai. This, this, and therefore you find multiple images. Continuous format, multiple images ka. And therefore you see a deformed shape of your face when you look at your face in a teaspoon like this, when you hold it like this or like this, so about images ko dekhte ho, toh usko aapko aapko dikhte hai, ki wo thoda curved hai, thoda deformed hai, because of this fact only, ki cheez hai, ek hi point per meet nahi kar rahi hai, whereas, jab hum baat karte hai, plane mirror ki, we need to prove that, all these rays, after reflection, they meet at a single point, in other words, we get a unique image for a given object. Write down the same question in second format. The same question can be asked in the second format like this. Or prove that, or prove that we get a unique image. We get a unique image for a given object. 
for a given object when mirror is a plane mirror when mirror is a plane mirror abhi kya kiya yahan par first of all iska reflected ray iska reflected ray इनको ड्रॉ करने के पहले हमने यहां पर एक नॉर्मल ड्रॉ किया एक्स और नॉर्मल एंड अदर नॉर्मल दिस नाउ इस सेटअप में रफली हमने रफली एक्स और वॉट डीज टू this distance is d then we have proved that this distance is d right here we have proved this thing if this distance is d then this distance is also d and therefore ye jo reflected ray aayegi yahan se i look carefully and ye kis tarah se image formation produce kiya zyada log kya karte hain they draw the reflected ray and then they try to move it backwards which creates problem hoga kya ye distance aur ye distance aapko same feel nahi hogi kuch is tarah ki cheez log is tarah se karne ki koshish karte hain they have a mirror humne yahan par ek ray is taraf liya ek idhar liya ab humne isko kuch bhi draw kiya and then image formation yahan hona chahiye tha aur ye back produce kiya yahan dikhega and then you see that these distances are not looking same and therefore and therefore what i suggest is that if this is d then approximately draw a point at same distance and then start from this draw a line and then break it like this oh please one me aa gaya hoga kis tarah se humne develop kiya hai yahan par now we have proved that if this is d then this is d and you got what image i1 for these two rays in dono rays ki wajah se yahan par kya mila apne ko ek image formation intersection of reflected rays now let's talk about let's talk about this and this these two incident rays this pair if we take this pair then if somebody if somebody tries to do something like this something like this if you draw it some in this form then this place is what i do intersection of reflected rays is giving us what i do now now what this is d this is d but if you draw your i2 like this then this distance let's say is d dash what is d dash distance of i2 from the mirror what is d distance of i1 i1 from the mirror now we know that we know that distance of image from the mirror and distance of object from the mirror they both should be same they both should be same and therefore and therefore this d dash must be equal to what d from this argument this logic which we produce that d1 is what d2 so what we are saying is that we are saying is that this d and this d dash or you can do or you can do something like this let's call it let's call it d1 and let's call it d2 d1 and d2 what is d1 what is d1 distance of image 1 from the mirror what is d2 distance of image 2 from the mirror then using this argument we say that d1 is what d d2 is what d distance of image from the mirror is same as that of the object 
distance of image from the mirror is same as that of the object and from these two and from these two what you get is this d1 equals to d2 d1 equals to what d2 which means what which means which means i1 and i2 i1 and i2 they both are formed at the same point which proves the given article. Apne ko proof karna tha, back you get a single image and that's what we did. You take any number of rays anywhere on this plane mirror upon reflection they all meet at the same point. Now, ye jo cheez hai, ye jo cheez hai, isko kis tarah se competitive examination mein aap se pooch sakte hai, that we have a mirror and this mirror in front of this mirror we have an object now somebody somebody came and removed few portions of this mirror like this ultimately giving us four mirrors you know, when you did this when you did this you're not changing you're not changing the orientation if you change the orientation, it will be like this. So it was a plain mirror. It was a plain mirror. What you did, you painted black. You painted black some portions on this mirror so that these portions now do not participate in reflection, thus giving us kind of these different fragments. But the question is that how many images do you see? I hope you know the answer. This thing is same as this. Jitni bhi, jitni bhi rays aap lenge, ultimately un sab ka intersection kaha ho raha hoga, ek single point per. And therefore, even after removing few portions of this plane mirror, what happens? You find a unique image. But there is something which has changed. Guess about it. Kya hogi wo cheez jo change ho gai hai? That thing is, that thing is intensity of the image. Jo brightness hai image ki wo kam ho jayegi. Kyo? Yoke ab kam portion kya kar raha hai? Participate kar raha hai? Kis ke andar? Reflection ke andar. And just because of this, just because of this, aap jab apne aap ko ek large mirror mein dekhte ho, to aap ko apne khud ki image zyada bright dikhti hai because more surface area is being used and therefore all these departmental stores and all when you go and buy clothes and all they always offer you plenty of lights and big large size mirrors so that more reflection takes place and you find yourself looking good in that mirror write down this write down this as a statement If a plane mirror, if a plane mirror is broken in several parts, is broken into several parts without changing, without changing orientations of all the remaining parts without changing orientations of all the remaining parts then we still get then we still get a single image but since but since less number of rays are getting reflected less number of rays are getting reflected intensity or brightness of image intensity or brightness of image decreases intensity or brightness of image decreases अपने इसी चीज को शायद घरों में इस तरह से सुना होगा अगर कोई मिरर इस तरह से ब्रेक हो जाता है 
तो जो घर के एल्डर्स हैं वो लोग क्या बोलते हैं कि इस तरह के मिरर में देखना नहीं चाहिए ना दे हैव डिफरेंट आर्ग्यूमेंट मतलब लॉजिक इज वॉट वेन इन नॉर्मल सिचुएशन यू ब्रेक अ मिरर देन इट्स डिफिकल्ट इट्स डिफिकल्ट टू अलाइन ऑल दीज डिफरेंट पार्ट्स इफ यू कैन नॉट मेंटेन दिस अलाइनमेंट इफ यू कैन नॉट मेंटेन दिस अलाइनमेंट देन वॉट विल हैपन वॉट विल हैपन all these will have their different images for those different images if you look at several images slightly deviated from each other then it gives us a kind of headache and therefore we are not interested in that mirror but if you break a mirror such that you keep all those parts aligned a perfect orientation if you can maintain that and nothing will happen you keep on looking at that mirror nothing will happen to you normal condition mein kya hota hai it's not possible to maintain it's not possible to maintain this perfect alignment thoda bahut changes agar aayenge to fir aapke liye ye different mirrors honge agar different mirrors honge agar different mirrors honge to ek mirror ye hai ek thoda sa let's say at an edit like this तो अगर आपका ऑब्जेक्ट यहां रखा हुआ है तो इस फर्स्ट मिरर के लिए इस फर्स्ट मिरर के लिए इमेज फॉर्म होगा यहां पर दिस इज योर आई वन सेकेंड मिरर के लिए सेकेंड मिरर के लिए इमेज फॉर्म होगा यहां पर आई होप यू कैन सी दैट कि इमेज कहा फॉर्म होगी एट दिस पर पेंडिकुलर लाइन इमेज कहा फॉर्म होगी एट दिस perpendicular line and therefore it creates what sort of headache and therefore we are not interested in the type of thing go down every thing look at this question we have a plane mirror and it's placed vertically like this it's of sufficient height and in front of this mirror a person is standing like this you are standing in front of a mirror the question is at what distance at what distance you must place this mirror and how much length of this mirror is required so that this man can see his full image in this mirror let's say let's say height of this man is h so write down the question a person of height h a person of height h is standing in front of a large mirror is standing in front of a large mirror then find out then find out at what distance at what distance he should stand in front of the mirror at what distance he should stand in front of the mirror and what length of mirror what length of mirror is required so that he can see he can see his full image he can see his full image in this mirror he can see his full image in this mirror now let's see how you handle this question humne kuch is tarah se define kiya ki jo aadmi hai let's say yahan par uski eyes hain this dot 
that say represents the height of the eye level from the ground. This height, this height is H1. What is H1? Eye level height from the ground. What is H? Is total height from the ground. This much height from eye level to this is what H2. And therefore, and therefore you can easily see that H is nothing but H1 plus H2. This is the eye level E. Now, if you have to see your full image, what do you to do? You should be able to look at his feet at the same time. He should be able to look at the topmost portion. Is here, right here. This part and the feet. Which means, which means a simple ray diagram, a simple ray diagram like this should be used. Light rays coming from this point, light rays coming from this point, after reflection, after reflection, they should reach his eyes. Similarly, similarly, light rays coming from the top of his head, they, these rays after reflection should be able to reach his eyes like this. That means, that means anything above and anything below is useless. You need, you just need this much length of the mirror from this point to this point. And that's what the question is. You need to find this length. That's how you draw the ray diagram. At this stage, you can pause the video and go for finding this height. And you have to use a good skin to produce the hair. Now, let's continue with this solution part. This is my mirror. We have to find the distance of this man from this mirror. At the same time, we need to find this length L. This length L. In terms of H, total height of the person. Now, reflection ka concept. Reflection ka concept, you know that just like you said, this is the incident ray. Immediately, what did you draw here? Normal. जैसे आपने यहां पर इंसिडेंट रे को ड्रा किया इमीडिएटली आपने यहां पर क्या ड्रा किया नॉर्मल वंस यू ड्रा दीस नॉर्मल्स वंस यू ड्रा दीस नॉर्मल्स यू कैन सी दैट इफ आई से दैट दिस एंगल इफ आई से दैट दिस एंगल इज अल्फा देन दिस एंगल इज आल्सो व्हाट अल्फा एंगल ऑफ इंसिडेंस एंगल ऑफ रिफ्लेक्शन सिमिलरली सिमिलरली इफ आई से दैट this angle is beta then this angle is also beta again if these two angles are same alpha and alpha these two angles are same alpha and alpha then i hope you can see that i hope you can see that this height and this height they both are equal and therefore H1 by 2. From this to this, from this to this, these two angles are same. These two angles are same. You can see that this length and this length, they both are same. Overall, overall is what H1, and therefore these individual parts, they are of H1 by 2. Same logic, yahabar. Ye jo portion hai, and ye jo portion hai, in dono ki. Length kya ho jayegi? H2 by 2. This is coming from what? This is coming from this concept. They both are same. 
they both are same if you wish you can do what perpendicular upon base tan alpha perpendicular upon base is what tan alpha now if you say that this is h2 by 2 this is h2 by 2 then this is also h2 by 2 which is gone हम इस पर चलते हैं दिस मच दिस मच इज सेम एज दिस एंड फॉर वट इज दिस दिस इज कमिंग एच वन बाय टू सिमिलरली दिस इज सेम एज दिस and therefore this is coming h2 by 2 this height and this height they both are same ultimately giving us the value of l l is what this plus this which is h1 by 2 plus h2 by 2 which is coming which is coming h by 2 which is coming what h by 2 that means what that means what jo mirror ki length hai wo kitni honi chahiye wo kitni honi chahiye half of the total height of the person who is looking inside the mirror then comes what d d ke liye d ke liye zara is cheez ko dekhna what is tan of alpha what was tan of alpha tan of alpha was this height h1 by 2 divided by base which is what d now i hope you can see you can feel it if i if i move this mirror away from the person if i move this mirror away from the person this alpha will change this d will change as you move this mirror away from it your alpha will change your d will change but but this height will be always what h1 by 2 fir se sunna agar maine is mirror ko yahan se remove karke yahan shift kiya जब मैं ये शिफ्ट करूंगा तो शिफ्टिंग में क्या हो रहा है दिस अल्फा इज चेंजिंग अभी रेज इस तरफ आ रही है देन रेज विल मूव लाइक दिस दैट विल चेंज योर अल्फा दैट विल चेंज योर डी बट स्टिल दिस हाइट विल बी व्हाट एच वन बाय टू इफ दिस इज एच वन बाय टू सेम आर्ग्यूमेंट दिस इज वॉट एच टू बाय टू इफ दे बोथ आर ऑफ सेम लेंथ देन नथिंग चेंजेस विद एल L is still what h by 2. वहां कोई चेंज नहीं आया है आपका अल्फा चेंज हुआ है आपका d चेंज हुआ है which means what? Which means this that for any separation between mirror and this person, he can see his full image as long as length of the mirror is half of his height. But it does matter. It does matter. where he places this mirror look if i say if i say height of bank is 2h like this then that's the length of mirror required agar ye aadmi hai to iska half kya hona chahiye mirror but that's not sufficient aap agar is mirror ko yahan rakhte nahi chalega kaam yahan rakhenge nahi chalega kaam kahan rakhna chahiye yahan par kahan par यहां देखिए कहां पर एट्स द मेरर लुक एट द लोअर एज ऑफ द मेरर दिस लोअर एज ऑफ द मेरर इज हियर एट द हाइट लेवल दिस इज द हाइट लेवल ऑफ द लोअर इमेज व्हाट इज दैट हाइट लेवल दिस मच व्हाट इज दिस एच वन बाय टू व्हिच मींस व्हाट लेंथ ऑफ द मेरर शुड बी हाफ ऑफ द ओवरऑल हाइट ऑफ द पर्सन एट द सेम टाइम एट द सेम टाइम लोअर एज ऑफ द मेरर should be held should be held at half of the eye level height of the person 
यहां पर क्या था आई लेवल हाइट आई लेवल हाइट का जो हाफ है एट दैट हाफ यू मस्ट प्लेस द लोअर एज ऑफ द मिरर राइट ऑन दिस एज अ स्टेटमेंट टू सी हिज फुल इमेज टू सी हिज फुल इमेज लेंथ ऑफ मिरर लेंथ ऑफ मिरर शुड बी हाफ ऑफ हिज हाइट शुड बी इक्वल टू हाफ ऑफ हिज हाइट एंड इट डजेंट मैटर एंड इट डजेंट मैटर एट वट डिस्टेंस एंड इट डजेंट मैटर एट वट डिस्टेंस ही places himself in front of the mirror at what distance he places himself in front of the mirror now this is something which is important why apne apne sath hi is cheez ko notice kiya hoga agar aapko kisi mirror mein aapki full image nahi dikh rahi hai to normally hamari tendency kya hoti hai hum piche jaane ki koshish karte hain hum piche jaane ki koshish karte hain ye soch kar ki thoda piche jayenge तो हमें अपनी पूरी इमेज दिख जाएगी नॉर्मली वी हैव अ टेंडेंसी लाइक दिस एंड राइट हियर वी हैव प्रूव दैट इट डजेंट मैटर व्हाट दिस डी इज एज यू चेंज योर डी एज यू चेंज योर डी एज यू चेंज योर डी दिस अल्फा चेंजेस डी एंड अल्फा दे चेंज बट व्हाट इज दैट विच डजेंट चेंज एच वन बाय टू एंड दर फॉर इफ यू कैन नॉट सी योर फुल इमेज इवन इफ यू मूव बैकवर्ड्स यू विल नॉट बी एबल टू सी दैट You have to have a mirror of what minimum length, total height of the man divided by two. At the same time, continue with the statement. At the same time, mirror should be placed. At the same time, this mirror should be placed such that its lower edge, its lower edge, is at half of the is at half of the eye level height from the ground lower edge of the mirror is at half of the eye level height from the ground let me just uh, discuss this tan alpha h1 by 2 upon d a bit more yahan par हमारे पास हमारे पास ये मिरर था एट योर मिरर यहां पर आदमी था वह गया था यहां से एक रे आई और ये रिफ्लेक्ट होकर आई लेवल हाइट पर पहुंच रही है एट वॉट इज है Let's discuss with this same thing happens with the top. Now, हमने इस मिरर को इस जगह से यहां शिफ्ट किया लुक एयर आई एम स्टिल मेंटेनिंग लोअर एज वेन यू मूव योर मिरर टू अ न्यू पोजिशन लाइक दिस अब क्या होगा This is the incident ray and this incident ray will meet at the same eye level height kyo because of the concept of reflection what is concept of reflection this is your normal ye jo apna normal hai is normal ki wajah se kya hua agar ye angle alpha tha तो फिर ये एंगल भी क्या था अल्फा था रिफ्लेक्शन इंसिडेंट रे रिफ्लेक्टेड रे विच टेल्स अस व्हाट विच टेल्स अस व्हाट दिस हाइट एंड दिस हाइट दे बोथ आर सेम नाउ व्हेन यू मूव व्हेन यू मूव दिस मिरर बैकवर्ड्स लाइक दिस अ बिट अवे फ्रॉम द पर्सन अभी भी अभी भी आपका नॉर्मल सेम बना हुआ है स्टिल गेटिंग द सेम नॉर्मल If you're getting the same normal, what do you have changed? This angle. 
let's say this angle changes to alpha dash alpha change ho gaya aapka lekin kuch bhi ho jaye agar ye alpha dash hai to fir ye jo angle hai ye angle bhi kya bana rahega alpha dash agar ye dono angle same hai now again ye jo height hai aur ye jo height hai dono kya hai hamare liye same that's what i mean when i say tan alpha is h1 by h2 divided by d what is happening this d is changing yahan tak d ye ho gaya d dash this much is d but this much is d dash this is d dash lekin dono case mein dono case mein this side and this side they both are same because of angle of incidence is equal to angle of reflection angle of incidence is equal to what angle of reflection go down this